I go into it, the more I see it. The more I see it sets the mind free. Because right. who we truly are is already free. I'm using terminology we. It's not the we. It's who I truly am. Right. I got you. It alone exists. It's non dual. There's no other. I think I'm an individual entity and then I start to imagine you and others and the world. So I am the one who is starting this whole projection. Right, right. Okay? And it's a universal eye, it's not an individual eye. Right, right. So, so, so we're here. And we're saying, well, okay, we're going to go into real estate. We're going to do this. Okay. That requires thought. It requires energy. So any movement requires energy. So the energy can be directed out in the thought process or directed in. So is that illusion? Going out? Yeah, the only reason why I would want to go out and do these things because I still think or imagine that this will give me something. No? Mm -hmm. Who? Who will get something? The imaginary separate entity that thinks it is an individual or thinks it is a physical body. Mm -hmm. Because whether it's real estate, money, food, it's all related to body. <coughs> Thoughts don't need money, right. can do with that anything. Don't eat, right. don't drink, don't drink. Thoughts, I'm not right. talking about who I truly am. Right. Yeah? Yeah. So the thought thinks it is a physical body, so it says, okay, I need or I want food, clothing, shelter, I, I want comfort, I want to have possibilities, I want to have the means, I, I want all of that. Mm -hmm. So I think I, if I'll get this, mm -hmm. I'll be happy. Which is not true. Yeah. Right. So one can recognize, okay, this is still a desire. I want something, so I'm wanting it in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. So I'm basically a little bit deluded. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. I'm deluded. Right, <laughs> I think right. it's yeah. There's something there. They're still gonna gain something. Right. And once I gain it, I have fear to to lose it too. Exactly. <laughs> right, right. So it's not gonna ever be uh, give me what I really want. No. What I really look for, right. it's not in, in in anything I'm looking up. Exactly. That's yeah? the, that's the, uh... yeah? mm, none of it. It's it's like. The sign, no, do not enter, has to be. Right, right. <laughs> like uh, when we go yeah. like, the freeway, right. do not enter. Yeah, there's right. a big sign that you don't go in the wrong direction. Right. This is the wrong direction right. because of, I still imagine that I would gain something. Right. Get something means gaining somehow always tied to pleasure and happiness. Because I don't look to gain pain. Right, right. I only want to gain something that will cause me pleasure. basically security, comfort, right. pleasure, right. appreciation, approval, and love. This is it. This six. First three are more material. Right. The other three are more subtle in the mind. Right. Yeah? Because appreciation can be controlled. So people right. are, people. if they are in control, they are being appreciated or being approved. Right or being loved or whatever which is never never happens anyhow they never get it because if you control or you then there's also fear element so there's no no way out like that right. it's like again wrong direction okay. so now why to take the action if one cannot take the action, he wouldn't even ask that. Right. Because no one decides which thoughts appear. 
because I do not know what would be the next thought that appears. But you you're going in a certain direction. So the thoughts that are gonna appear are gonna be in in that realm of uh, direction that you That's right. towards. This is right. This is the wise the wise pointed out very important who you associate with and what is the material you stay around. So if I go and be exposed to object, I would have more objective thoughts about the object. If I'm going to go and put the attention towards something that is subtle, and what we talk is subtle because who I truly am is beyond subtle, means objects is gross, subtle is thoughts, and who I am is beyond. So the mind has to be fine enough to dissolve and have the clarity. This is subtlety. If it goes out and start having objective thoughts, mm -hmm. it loses the clarity. Because it starts to believe that the objects of the world is what's going to give it the happiness. Because the only reason why I would put attention to it, because I give it meaning, no? If I give it meaning, I get attached to it. Okay, suppose that you, you know this, you have clarity on this. Yes. But you still go out and do that. Deluded. Still deluded? I'm deluded, yes. You, even though that you know that what you're doing, it's not going to bring you those things. Yeah, because in that moment when I occupy on the objects of the world, in that moment so quickly I forget. And I think that's really significant. That's really real. Okay. This is it. The forgetfulness happens so quickly in the mind and out of habit, I don't even know how long I practice going out. Right. So, if, yes, I can know it mentally, the next moment I forget it. Already I know that this is important, this is what I have to do, and this is, with, I, I have to get this, and mm -hmm. this is all I know in that moment. Yeah, but you got plopped into this dream. Then I'm locked, then i now locked in it. I lock myself into it. I am locking it because I, because of one thing I want. Right, I want. I desire. But the dream, the, the, the thought that put you into this dream wasn't your thought. That's right. It's not who I truly am. Right, but you had, but, but because you, the thought put you in this particular dream, you had to function in this dream. No, seriously. No, function means I'm a physical body. This is why I say I need to function. Because why the mind say? Because you say I'm a physical body. So I need to function. This is an excuse for the mind to go out right. and get security, comfort, pleasure, appreciation, approval, and love. Because we'll say, okay, you know what? Let's see why not I'm not going to function. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. yeah? What happens? The mind will freak out. It's like, oh, no. <laughs> what happens? Right. I'm going to feed myself. I'm going to live. Yeah, all the fears start to come. Right. You know, you know, one after right. another. Right. So the wife said, okay, food, clo food, clothing, and shelter is necessary right. so the mind can calm down. Now you do the work. They, they were wise. They didn't say, okay, now get the mind into reaction. You won't be able to even to discriminate. Right, right. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, there's a certain yeah. amount in this. In this Dream, you have to have a certain amount of comfort so that you can do the work. No, this is what we imagine. That's not the truth. Okay. Because sometimes the most discomfort can awaken me from the dream. Right, that's true. So I do not know that I need to have a certain thing to wake up. Okay. Actu actually, whatever is happening in life, this is what I need but you to wake up. Yeah, right. Maybe it will be comfort one moment and the next moment is discomfort. So, right. one of the things the wise light is working with pain. Right. Well, pain, pain is a quick way to... Wake up. Wake up. Yeah, because when you most fear... People, most people wake up through pain. Yeah. Pain is good. So, this is why even when we sit, uh -huh. 
I invite people not to move so they can face the pain. So they can see that you don't suffer from pain, you suffer when you, in the mind, resisting the pain. Now it's not you resisting the pain. Who you are never changes. I'm, right. I'm jumping right, I understand what you're saying. from yeah. sometimes you as a thought and you as a pure awareness. Yet right. Right. the only real you is pure awareness. Yet because I have, as because I might think I'm an individual entity as a thought that mm -hmm. believes it is a physical body mm -hmm. and I don't negate it. Mm -hmm. I don't pretend. Right. As long as I perceive it, it's there for me as a perception. Right. So if I would negate it, I can't work with that. Right. If I can't work with it, it has its own momentum. It will delude me so quickly. Right. It did it anyhow. So now I have to clearly be aware of it. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah, and now working with that. Right. You gotta always, you gotta jump out, Jack. Jump back in, jump out, Jack. Jump back in, jump out, jump back in. What you, it appears like? What you, you're out. You're out, and you in. You forget. Okay. You gotta remind. You gotta jump back in to understand where you're at. That's right. So the jumping actually happens in the mind only. Okay. It's not really external, like we think it's we going out. Right. 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 Yeah. yeah. It's all in the mind. Right. 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 Although we can say there is an external world. I can touch it. Yes. And there is internal world. Right. Yeah. Which I can't touch. Right. Which is thoughts. Right. So that's that's the distinction. Right. Right. Yeah. Except that I'm not affected by the physical. Okay. The thought is not affected by object. It is only affected by the interpretation it has about the object. Right. So if you had cancer, the interpretation would determine on the... How I feel. How you feel. And actually, if I wouldn't label it cancer, Right, right. What do I have? You have a disharmony body. And if I don't label that, what do I have? You don't know what you have. So I just imagine what I have, isn't right, it? Right, right. Because... But, but, but the body is going through some kind of deterioration. It, from the moment it is born, uh -huh. it is in one direction, deterioration. Correct. So what's the difference? Well, one, one deterioration is, is less painful than another deterioration. Okay, yet, yes. The thing is, so again, we're afraid of the pain. Yet, pain, we don't suffer from it. When we feel resistance to the sensation of pain, uh -huh. we start to suffer in the mind, not because of pain. Mm, okay, okay. So, it has nothing to do with the physical again. Right, right. Suffering has nothing to do with physical. But you feel, phys you feel something uncomfortable. Okay, and if I don't and label so it... And your mind is reacting to it, your thoughts are reacting to it. Now I start to suffer. So if, so if you had an uncomfortable feeling and you just kind of set with it... And even set with that without giving any meaning to it. Right. Like if I would ask, it would just who be am a, I without would, this thought? It would just be a sensation. I wouldn't even know that. I would actually experience who I truly am. Because who I truly am is one with the physical body. Okay? Because basically the body is within the field of awareness. Correct. The field of awareness is not limited to inside or outside. Right. The mind imagines inside and outside. Right. So actually, I wouldn't even know. So, if you were in, in a pure state, Somebody was torturing you, you don't even know. Actually, I, I am, you are, everyone is, is always in their pure state. Okay, right. He, he pointed, what is the power of illusion? It's mis a man mistake, here we can say a rope for a, a snake. Right. So also you mistake the non-dual perfect self. This is the perfect state uh -huh. for an individual. The individual is I. Right. 
I am a thought, I'm talking I am, uh -huh. it's always have to be tied to a physical form. Right. It needs an object to say I am a physical body. Right. I am an object. Right. I so if I'm, a, if I'm an object, then uh, uh, now I suffer because of what's going on in the object. Right. Yet I'm not the object. And I'm not even the one who interpreted it. So I'm always in the pure state. Right. I just forgot that I'm in a pure state. The, the, I, I forgot that, so I, and I think I'm a physical body. Oh, okay, I got you. And this is the power of illusion. So it's what they call Maya. She makes the impossible possible. She kind of like a magician. Whoop! And then it looks so real, and then you go and check it, there's nothing there. So this is what happens when we examine the thoughts. When we examine the thoughts, we come and say, okay, the thoughts appear to be real. Now I go and touch them. I see, they're nothing. 